We are starting to see those pandemic restrictions rolling back and our growing population is growing. That means Austin's traffic is only getting worse. You can be part of the potential solution, though. That's right, because many of you experience this every day. Candy Rodriguez joins us in the newsroom to tell us about what's happening this week. That could mean fewer drivers on the road and more people taking public transportation. Good morning, Candy. Yeah, uh, Amanda, good morning. Well, remember when voters passed Project Connect last November? It's that $7 billion bond meant to make it easier for people to take buses and trains around town. And today, Cap Metro is taking the next step in developing that future transit system, and they want to hear from you. Here's what they're doing this week, looking at where to add bus stops and light rail stops. They also want to focus on three paths for this week for those future light rail lines. The blue line, part of which would run from the Republic Square East to the airport. And they're also looking at two other locations, the Republic Square North to North Lamar and Republic Square South to Stasny. That's part of the orange line. So now they want to hear from people about what they want to see at these stops. They want to know what people want when it comes to seating, lighting, shading. What about technology to present information on trips? And that's not all Cat Metro says. How important is it that you be able to get a bike share there or that you be able to um, maybe even lock your bike up at a bike rack? So we want to hear from folks, what will make you comfortable? What will make this station respectful of its environment and your neighborhood? And what makes it the most accessible? Yeah, they say this all makes a difference. Each one may be unique to its own location. Now, the first public virtual meeting will start at 530 tonight. Those interested in providing feedback have until late May. Amanda.